Okay. All right, everyone. Hi, everyone. We have Shorya Malhotra with us who recently scored a 740 on the GMAT on 15th of November. That's a very, very recent score. So I'd uh, close this and I'll invite Shorya to start his video and then we can have a word. Can you please start your video? So, Shorya, I was told that you were in a very strict timeline and then also it was 740 for you. Just tell us about the experience, what worked for you here and uh, what your challenges were. I'd like to hear, please. Sure, sir. <clears throat> so, yes, sir, that's true, sir. Uh, I was working on my own startup uh, before this mm -hmm. and uh, we started, like, we stopped working uh, uh, only, you know, just uh, like one, one and a half months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, due to that, I was sort of in a hurry. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so with this, you know, limited amount of time and I, I took some mocks and uh, uh, I realized that, you know, I was not scoring at the level I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, spoke with some friends, you know, uh, and, and sort of learned about uh, top 1% from them. Right. And... Uh, and I took the demo session uh, and, and clearly realized that, you know, that there is a huge knowledge gap, uh, especially in verbal, in terms of what is taught to us in India and uh, what is required on the GMAT. Right, uh, right. So, so the, the, the main areas where I needed to improve, uh, mm -hmm. I uh, realized were uh, SC mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, RC as well. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's the, so, so, you know, looking at the timeline that I had, uh, I opted for the self-paced course, course, right. uh, but I can sort of, you know, push, push, uh, at the pace I wanted to. And, right. uh, so I went with it and, uh, followed your instructions as, uh, they were mentioned in the Excel mm -hmm. sheet and, uh, right. uh, you know, just, just did everything, uh, that, uh, you had suggested and, uh, mm -hmm. So clearly, uh, you know, there was a lot uh, that I learned from the videos and uh, mm. uh, everything that is put to use on, on the GMAT, uh, it is taught by you. And uh, it was definitely very, very helpful in the, ex in the exam server. And obviously, I'm really, really glad are... to hear that. So specifically, if you talk about uh, sentence correction and reading comprehension, that is, uh, these yes. are the two places where you needed the most help, as you said. So just yes. tell me how... Learning the whole concept thing and then prime application. Maybe you did a qualitative study more than quantitative, like solving too many questions. You focused on learning, I guess, uh, and filling in your gaps. So just take us through how you studied sentence correction and how you studied reading comprehension the, from the course and how it translated into some sort of score that uh, you know that really changed things for you. Yeah. Sure, sir. So I think the most, uh, I think the section where the most tangible learning that you can have is sentence correction, mm -hmm. right? Because RCs are more like, uh, like you un you read and you understand and uh, right, right, right. You answer. I mean, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. but, but in sen sentence correction, you know, there, there are so many rules that we were not aware of. And uh, okay. so I just, my approach was that I saw the videos mm -hmm. uh, as uh, were prescribed by you and, uh, and, and, you know, just learned all these concepts and, uh, and then saw the videos, uh, you know, and, and watched you in action, applying those concepts, solving right. questions and, right. and learning from them. And, and then just uh, doing a lot of practice, uh, right. you know, like I had just one month, so I was just like mm -hmm. completely obsessed about it and just solving questions all the time and, uh, and, and learning from them. And, uh, in fact, uh, like the day prior to my exam, I was just revising the, uh, from the SC PDF mm -hmm. and the last question that you meant, like the, that is mentioned over there, uh, the 50th question, mm -hmm. uh, then is so, the case or that was the case or something. I think, yeah. yeah. Uh, Probably. Okay, something else. Maybe. Each having, you know, like that kind of a... I, yeah. yeah. You know, you know, yeah, I understand. Something. That's fine. But, yeah. but I, like the concept is there. And and the first question on the GMAT uh, was was that application, the application of that uh, that question. That's fabulous so, to know. Really, really nice. So, so definitely, sir. I mean, SC was... Uh, Fantastic. Although, and did you, you know, study as much reading comprehension as well from the course or did you just brush things up? Just tell me about that as well. 
Uh, yes, uh, like I started with RCs only because uh, like that's the order that uh, was prescribed. Uh, so I, I started with RCs and uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, Octave, I, I think like, especially in uh, like the whole approach, uh, especially is very helpful in solving the primary purpose uh, questions. Right, right, right. Uh, so, so yeah, that was, uh, that was helpful uh, very much and the whole process of eliminating options uh, also you know comes to use uh, when uh, when when you you know do the gmat okay did you find anything really unusual on the exam if you feel i mean you recall something no nothing nothing as such sir nothing as nothing such. as such so shorya also tell me a bit about your background i mean obviously we did look up your linkedin but i would just like to hear from you and what schools you're applying to what's the whole uh, sequence like like uh, you you had a startup or you are right, right now having a start so just take me through your journey please sure sir uh, so i'm an engineer by background i went to iit delhi uh, mm -hmm. for my tech i studied biochemical engineering and biotechnology between 2014 to 2018 right. uh, otherwise i'm from yamnanagar it's a small town uh, in haryana mm -hmm. and i come from a like business uh, background uh, right. my father is a businessman and uh, so I, out of college, I uh, worked at Deloitte uh, in consulting for about two years. And okay. uh, uh, so, yeah, a lot of uh, different projects and uh, lots of clients to work for. So that kind of thing. And uh, I, I wanted to do something of my own. And, you know, so I, I felt like, uh, you know, this is a great time to start up, uh, especially, you know, around that time in India, like a lot of uh, startup boom. Uh, was happening and uh, like I had an idea that I wanted to pursue right. that I was excited by super, uh, super. so I, I gave up my job to uh, pursue that and uh, build up a team and we built up a product to I mean, outside of IIT obviously this looks like a far-fetched dream but I think from IIT Delhi we hear stories such as these quite a lot that people quit their jobs and pursued something of their own so that that's really refreshing and uh, what is what schools are you applying to? I mean, M7 probably would be your dream, but still wanted to know, looking at your profile background and whatever you feel gives you the best value, best return on investment. So what do you feel will be the schools? So I think, uh, sir, uh, I think my approach is going to be that I'll apply to a couple of, uh, you know, the top schools. And uh, so also also hedge my risks with some some middle schools. Uh, right, right. That uh, yeah, so yeah, just to make sure that. Right. That, so yeah. do keep us posted, uh, Shorya. This is really fantastic with the timelines that you had. Although seven forty is not something that you would like to boast of, or nor would we. But still, I mean, looking at the timelines and looking at the specifics with which it helped you, the course. I really am very glad that this is very competitive and with your quant score, I think should really work out fantastically for you. So all the very best and keep us posted with your results, right? Yeah, absolutely, sir. Thank right. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.